Hello and welcome. This is Angie with thecountrysheetcottage.net. Today we're going to take a plain doormat, our freezer paper. You'll remember that freezer paper stenciling video we did a few weeks back. Now we're going to do it on a doormat and some spray paint. And we're going to make an adorable doormat just for your home. So you can find the SVG for this one in the description for this video. I'll drop a link there. Now, let's get started with the process for making our doormat. For this project, you'll need your freezer paper. You'll need black spray paint. You will need something to press the freezer paper onto your doormat. I'm gonna use my Easy Press Mini. Now, depending on the size of your design and the size of your doormat, you might need the 12 by 24 mat. Mine's gonna be large enough where I will need that. And then you need the doormat itself. This one is from Ikea. That's the least expensive option. I'll link some more options in the description below. So you can head to one of those options. You can try to pick these up at Walmart or Target or something like that. But the plain ones are kind of hard to find. Ikea is definitely the cheapest and easiest option if you have one available. All right, so now I'm going to add the freezer paper to the light grip mat. So the freezer paper itself, the shiny side, is what is going to stick to the mat when we press it. So the shiny side needs to go down on your paper mat. So I'm putting the shiny side down on the mat. And I like the light grip mat um, so it doesn't grip too much. This paper is really thin. And so I like to put it down on my mat. And then just take a pair of scissors and trim off any excess. So the freezer paper itself, the brand I'm using is actually wider than this mat. So I'm going to trim down one edge. And then I'm going to trim down this top as well. Now let's take a look at the design and quick the design space because I have a few tips and tricks there as well. Right, so first you'll need to upload your SVG into Cricut Design Space. Now I've already done that and I have another video showing you how to do that and I'll link that in the description below. Now once you have the SVG uploaded then you can resize your image. So I want mine to be as large as possible. So I like about 21 inches wide for the size of mat that I'm using and then this 10 a little over 10 is fine so we're going to click make it the first thing it's going to tell you is that your project is too large for a 12 by 12 mat we are okay with that we have the 12 by 24 we're going to say okay the next thing we're going to do is move this to the center so I want as much room around my design as possible to have room to mask that excess spray paint. So I'm going to move it to where it's approximately the center of the entire mat and then I'm going to click continue. And then there's not a freezer paper setting so I set my dial to custom and then I'm just going to pick a light paper because the freezer paper is not very thick at all. Then we're going to put it into our Cricut machine and cut our design. All right, and here's our design cut. Now, if your blade is old or you don't have this down really well on your mat, you could get a few areas that are messed up, but this is actually a pretty forgiving project, so I'm just gonna run with it. So I have one little area here where the B, center of the B got a little messed up. You will need the centers of the letters in this case. So we're gonna get rid of the actual letters. And get rid of that and we're going to leave the centers so we'll leave that center because those are going to be part of our masking as well so I'm just going to kind of reverse weed if you will the entire thing and then we'll talk about how to get this onto the mat itself so now what we're going to do is take this outer piece off carefully so we don't want to rip it at all where the cut out is. And the light paper setting might have been actually a little 
deep, so you might have chose light paper and less pressure, just depending on the condition of your blade. So I'm going to carefully lift this back, and then we'll talk about how to add it to the doormat itself. And you want to be especially careful in these areas where it's really thin, where the letters are close together. But I'll just go ahead and pick all this up off the mat and then we'll add it to our doormat as a stencil. All right, so I left all the centers of the letters on my mat. I'm gonna set that to the side and then just start putting this stencil down. So what you wanna do is locate it onto your doormat. So about the same on the top and the bottom, as well as about the same on the sides. And then we can start pressing it down with our Easy Press Mini is what I'm gonna use. So when you press it, the shiny side, again, it's down onto the mat, and it will actually create a bond when heated and bond itself to the doormat just enough to act like a stencil and then once you're through this actually peels up super super easily and you can discard it after you're through so what we're going to do is just press over this entire thing and you might have to go over the areas several times because it has so little to stick to, right? So it has just all these little bitty fibers to stick to. You may have to go over it several times to get it all stuck down. And then we'll stick this entire thing down. Then we'll come back with the centers of those letters, add those and then we'll be ready to head outside to do some spray painting. So let me just continue this and I'll come back and show you the mat after everything is stuck. Then as you go along and you're sticking the main stencil, you can take the centers of those letters off of the mat. We can just press those into place as well. And we'll just keep continuing on with the rest of the, the design. All right, so my stencil is pressed down. A few things I want to note. This won't be perfect. So because the surface is so uneven, you might have some areas that don't it completely adhere, but that's why we're using spray paint. So we're going to spray paint it from the top using light coats top down so that we get the best coverage possible with the least going underneath the sides. Second thing I wanted to note, if you have trouble, like I was having trouble with these E's, the very tips of them lifting up, at, while they were hot, right after I removed the iron, I just held them into place, and you could use just about anything as long as you don't burn your hands, and I just held them down until it cooled, and once it cooled, I could lift that up, and the corner would stay down because the adhesive had cooled instead of curling back up. So if you have any areas you're having a particular problem with, try that trick. Now, we need to do a few things before we can take it outside. I'm gonna use some painter's tape along the bottom here and maybe some paper to cover this area as well as at the top to cover this area. Then we'll take it outside and do our spray painting. saw I just removed that freezer paper easily like super easy it just peels back once I was through painting and while the paint was still wet now a few things I wanted to note is I had to put rocks in the corner to hold it down because it was a little windy outside so if it's windy you might have to put something around the outer edge to kind of hold that in place the tape doesn't stick like super well to this um, doormat so it was starting to lift up on the edge and I didn't want the whole thing to start lifting up um, and then you also want to be careful while you're moving it. So if you, I was, you know, in my craft room when I did the pressing of the stencil and I had to be super careful as I moved it downstairs so that the freezer paper didn't start to lift. So if you were to bend it a lot while you moved it that first time, then the freezer paper might start to lift on you. So there's just a couple tips. Otherwise, have fun with that SVG. 
let everyone know to leave your house by nine just as soon as they enter the door or look up one of the many other funny doormat sayings that are around for an SVG or make your own with the font of your choice. So thank you all so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed this project, enjoyed seeing how to make your own doormat. I hope you'll make your own with some freezer paper now that you see just how easy it is. So thank you all for joining me. And um, if you love this video, got some great tips, give us a thumbs up. If you have any questions about anything we've done today, please drop those in the comment section below. If you haven't already, head on over to our YouTube channel, hit that subscribe button. You don't want to miss any of our videos. We have cricket videos every week and you are going to love them. So thank you for joining me and I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.